Today, we're going to talk about social media. I'm going to give some social media tips, and I am with PJ Harris, uh, who's going to be sharing them with us. And just say hi to you, PJ. Thanks for being here. Hey, George. Yeah. So I'm going to just share your um, background with everybody, and then uh, we'll get into a topic that I think a lot of people are very interested in watching this. So, um, so PJ Harris has spent most of her life as a holistic healer. So some of you can relate to that. Mm -hmm. And in the last 10 years, she's been working on social media for various small businesses. Mm -hmm. She offers packages as well as standalone services for social media consulting. And uh, she, these days, she's doing a lot um, to help people with their Facebook ads. So those of you who have learned Facebook ads from me, at least some part of it, uh, you know, if you want to have somebody do it for you instead of you having to do it all yourself and try to figure it out, well, PJ can definitely do that for you. So mm -hmm. uh, PJ's um, ideal clients are what she calls do-gooders, which are small businesses like you who are doing good in the world. And that includes people like healers, nonprofits, educators, coaches, artists, spiritual teachers, and others who uh, just really believe in, in their work, making a positive impact, not just out for the money. And I think that's, I'm, my guess is most or all of you <laughs> watching this. Um, yeah, so I'm really glad to have you here, PJ, and uh, let's dive in. I have a couple questions for you. So okay. one of the, yeah, I, one question I, I'll have is, you know, um, since you work with a lot of people on, on their business, um, what's a common mistake that that they tend to make as you start working with them? What's a common myth that they have in their head? Um, well, one of the things that happens is they'll have this idea. They'll be excited because they're finally ready. They're going to start their Facebook page. And they think that I'll start a Facebook page, I'll invite all my friends, and now I'll make tons of money because I'm, I'm ready to take that next step. And believing it, it's, it's not, it's that easy, but it really isn't that easy. Um, I mean, there's things that you can learn to make it easier, but it is a process. It is a journey. It is a journey that starts with basic steps. And then you dive deeper and deeper and deeper into that. And as you're doing that, then your audience, which is the people who are following you on Facebook can grow. Um, but it's not something that happens instantly and it's not something that happens overnight so that's i would say one of the most common mistakes people make yeah and i just i, I just always wonder like where do these myths come from I, I mean i guess maybe people just have the sense when they look at other people's success that well there's you know look at other people who are successful so it must not be that hard <laughs> i don't know i think, I think some yeah. of it is just it used to be easy I think that's some of it too. And they don't realize how complicated, you know, the Facebook uh, world has become. And so it's just, you know, it's, it's, yeah, there's just a lot more to it than that. So, and I don't think people realize that. And what's like a core understanding that you like to, to start your clients off with something that, you know, if they, if they had this, this, you know, idea that they they really understand based on your education or based on learning it elsewhere that mm -hmm. it would just make them a better client for you or just make them more effective yeah. well i think one of the things that happens is um they also they think that they'll start a facebook page and they'll post things and everybody's going to see it and the reality is is that that used to be the way it used to be not everybody but a lot of people that you knew would see it. But the thing is, is there are more and more people on Facebook and there are more and more uh, things that go by their feed that take up the space. And so because of that, Facebook has changed everything so that the organic, which means things that you post that doesn't have money behind it, doesn't have an ad behind it or anything, gets less traction less views in front of, of in front of your page so then it's about anywhere from two to five percent depending on how popular your page is in other words how much your audience is actually interacting is what organic reach gets you 
And so when people say, well, then why am I starting a Facebook page? I explain to them that organic reach is, if you use sales uh, terms, organic reach is a closing tool. Meaning if somebody is looking into, I'm gonna hire this massage therapist or that massage therapist, they might go and look at their website. They're going to go and look at their Facebook page. If they see on their Facebook page that there's somebody who is active, who seems to be knowing what they're talking about, knowing their field, then it's going to lean things more towards the person who has a more active Facebook page and looks more like a, uh, somebody who knows what they're doing. Now, paid reach is actually that's going to Paid ads is the thing that's going to actually find clients for you. That's the difference. So if you think that when you're opening a Facebook page that, again, I'm going to invite all my friends and make tons of money. Mm, yes, maybe it happens, but not as common as it used to be. It's very rare anymore. You need to usually put some ads behind it in order for Facebook to be a way for you to reach clients. I like that distinction um, that, you know, the organic is there for people to help them decide, um, you know, and, and, and I would say for the two to 5% or however many percent that happens to see it organically, that mm -hmm. it continues to build warmth, continues to build um, a relationship with that potential client, et cetera. Definitely. Um, definitely. With people you already have. One of the great things is Facebook pages. I mean, it's relatively easy to post there compared to, yes if you have a website and you don't really know how to use it that well, it might be not as easy. And also when you post on your website, really not that many people see it. Whereas no. you post on Facebook, your business page, at least you get the two to 5% organic or sometimes higher depending on the, the post. And then you can put ad dollars behind it to reach even more, even more people. So exactly. do you have any, there's um, another, but there's one more core understanding. Is it okay yes. if I share the second one that I oh, was yes, thinking please, of please when do. we were talking about that? Yeah. The other one is, um, and this is something that you speak to quite a bit is why do you need to be authentic and build trust? And um, that's one of the things is that the, the do-gooders that I work with, they really, really need this. And what I use, use, uh, use this um, example is it's like, think of it, comparing it to a love relationship. You wouldn't go to somebody in a bar and say, will you marry me? You got to build this trust and they need to understand who you are and what it is that you offer and why it is that they feel connected to you. So that is one of the things about, you know, organic, we're continuing to work on your organic reach for those warm audiences, the people that already follow you is important. Yeah. Yeah. That's really, build that relationship. Really important. Yes. Yes, yeah. absolutely. So when it comes to posting on Facebook, now that you're advising your clients, all right, you know, uh, or doing it for your clients, of course, they provide the, the writing, they provide the images or whatever mm -hmm. they want you to post. And you could make sure that it's going to the right people, running the ads, et cetera. So right. when, when, we, when you're doing that, what's, do you have, you know, like a, I guess, rule of thumb or, or you know, recommendation for sure. promotion content versus, yeah. Yeah, I think that it's best to use 20% promotion uh, with a ratio of 80% entertaining, educational, um, inspirational, those, those kinds of things. That way you're not coming across salesy and you're providing benefit. You're providing something. You're providing a service. I mean, we're do-gooders and the people that are coming looking for a do-gooder is looking for somebody who is, who is, generous and service oriented and so you really they really get to see how you care for them and how and how how much you know on the other end of that it's not just one or the other it's 20 percent and 80 percent. so they'll see your intelligence and then they'll see your caring that's great that's great yeah and uh now one of the tips that you commonly give to you know clients and people who are just learning from you is mm -hmm. to fill out the about section of, of their Facebook business page. Can you tell us more about that? 
Well, there's all kinds types of things to fill out that are really important. Believe it or not, filling out when you were founded, if you've been uh, in business for a while, that's an important thing for people to see. Uh, filling out your education is important for people to know because there are people out there who will comb your Facebook page with a fine tooth comb. And the other thing is um, to, the, to the upper right part of the about page is a section called story. And you can put a beautiful picture there and a lovely um, couple of paragraph story about who you are and what you have to offer. And that will, will present on your Facebook page in the upper right. And you wouldn't believe when I'm doing audits how often people don't even know it's there. And it's really simple to fill it out and give people another shot of what it is and who you are and what you have to offer. Yeah, yeah. And speaking of your story, I'd love to hear um, why do-gooders? What's the, what's the story behind that or what's the impulse? The, uh, yeah, tell us more what, why you chose this particular group of people. Well, it's, <clears throat> excuse me, it's who I am. Excuse me, I'm going to drink some water. Sure, sure, no problem. Yeah, and I, I agree. I mean, having been a holistic healer for 10 years, I mean, that's the, the background you came to is you're, you are at your core about um, the well-being of others. Yes. And, and transformation in a positive direction, but yeah. Yeah, and I'm, I've also been a activist. I used to do Native American environmental justice work as well. Yeah, yeah. So I have a strong sense of justice too and a strong sense of just caring, caring for the world. And um, I have you know, some physical disabilities that keeps me from doing a lot of things that I used to do. Like I was a massage therapist when I was a holistic healer. So the nice thing about doing social media is I get to have this like greater ripple effect where I'm helping you know, my, 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 uh, logo is a, it, it's a, um, what do you call it when you, when you're speaking a megaphone, my logo is a megaphone. And so that's the idea is that it's really helping kind of broadcast and make a ripple effect because we really, we can really use good in this world right now. This world is like thirsting for good. It really is. Yeah. So share yeah. you good is why I called it that. And for sure. Do gooders and, are my people. Yeah. And, um, What's one of your favorite things about doing social media uh, with and for your clients? Well, I like, I like when somebody gives me some feedback and, and just, I had someone not too long ago, I helped them figure out their, who, who their niche was and they had a niche that they hadn't even considered. And it just was like this light bulb and, and, and then it energized and infused a whole new life into their business. So I really like doing good for these do-gooders and, and, and just helping them to make it easy. Helping them because some of them, they just want to write. They just want to write what they do. They really, they're creatives. They want to share their art or they want to share their writing. And they don't, they don't want to worry about the Facebook ad, you know, ads manager and all of the complicated stuff and how to do that. And they just want somebody to take it. And, and it just takes this big load off of their shoulders. And so when they tell me that that's happened, I feel it just energizes my day. So yeah, totally. I well, also admit yeah. that I love the fact that I can do it anywhere. Yeah. Like sure. I can go to a coffee shop and, yeah. and, and work. It's very yeah. handy that I love that about my job. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. So. Um, and your offer is very reasonable. Um, the price, uh, you know, I, we're, we're not going to, speak what the rate is on this video because who knows maybe some of you watching this years later and uh we don't want to give the wrong number or whatever so if you want to find out uh pj's rates for doing the facebook ads and other social media for you definitely contact her but i have her current rates right here i think they're they're awesome um and what i understand pj that you do i mean so you have your I should let everybody know PJ is part of my master hard business mentoring group. So she has been learning a lot of the strategies that I talk about and, and what we talk about in, in the group. So she's very, you know, up, up to, uh, up to par with all the values and strategy, et cetera. So, so, uh, PJ, you do the, you implement that strategy for, for your yes, clients with Facebook ads. You, you help them reach their warm audience consistently. You help them reach new cold audiences, people who could, love their work and mm -hmm. you know would love to discover them 
Um, so you just yeah. help people to use Facebook ads effectively, like the way I talk about it, cool audiences, warm audiences, etc. cetera. And um, it's great that if anybody's watching this and says, you know, George, I love your strategies, but I don't know if I can do all the technical <laughs> stuff or I don't want to be doing that. Yeah. Then you might want to reach out to PJ and talk with her about having, you know, if she has any availability to do that for you. So um, anything else, PJ, you want to say about that work or, or about your offer? Sure. I speak fluent George. <laughs> 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 uh, so I just want to say a, just a little thing to everybody. Actually, George is the one that ca came up with the with the name of do gooders. He's the one, and I really that was really fun. One day you said it, and it was just yeah. it just fits. Thank so. you. And of course, I, I heard it somewhere else, but and I but when I was talking with you, I'm like, hmm, there you go. That's that's the word. <laughs> you know? yep. Yeah, yeah, that was great as well. Yeah. Do you want me to give kind of the 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 details of the offer? Yeah. Or? Uh, you, well, I, I don't think we need the details. We just okay. know that basically you do the, I uh, wouldn't want to, you know, kind of overwhelm people or people sure, who don't sure. understand as much. I think basically you implement, you do the, the work of Facebook ads yeah. for people who don't want to, who don't have the technical ability to do it uh, right. efficiently or consistently or who just, uh, you know, don't have yeah. the time to do it, you know, so. And creating so, audiences too. Yeah. Creating yeah. audiences. Um, yeah. yeah. Doing all that. So that's really yep. great. Yeah. Um, so PJ, do you, when you work with clients, um, obviously a lot, of, a lot of it's done via email. Do you also uh, meet with them via Zoom if they need some handholding on certain things? Sure, sure. Uh, sometimes people will share their screen with me yeah. on Zoom and I can yeah. teach them and tell them where to go. I also can share their screen, but I don't do that very often where I drive for them. Yes. I don't generally do that. I think it's pretty easy to just tell them you know, go up yeah. and to the right and click there. And, yes. and, um, I love helping people do it. I will teach you how to do it. I will do it for you. I will do it with you. Any of those, any of those kinds of things for social media management or ads or, or that kind of stuff. So, awesome. Awesome. yeah. Do, is, is there any other social media service you want to mention besides Facebook ads? Uh, I like to do consulting, Mm -hmm. So if people want some help strategizing or some brainstorming, um, yeah. I've got great creative thought yeah. Uh, yeah. skills to offer. Um, I great. have had clients just come away, you know, they want to do it themselves, but they're not quite sure where to go next or, or something like that. Mm -hmm. I had somebody who thought she should be doing Facebook ads and, you know, we found out that YouTube is actually what she enjoys. And mm -hmm. I yeah. said, yeah, if you love it, do that, you know, and she was so relieved. So, you know, just, yeah, yeah I loved consulting as well. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Excellent. Well, PJ, thank you so much for the work you do uh, on behalf of do-gooders for do-gooders. Yeah. And um, of course I'll have any links you want to share in the notes um, of the video. Those of you watching on YouTube, it's below. Those of you watching on Facebook, it's probably above. So check out PJ's links and, uh, anything else you want to share before we uh, finish this interview? No, I think that's good. Thank you, George, All very right. much. Well, thanks for your work. And um, yeah, folks, reach out to PJ for help on this stuff. She's very approachable and uh, a delight to work with. So, thanks. Thanks, PJ.